Hey, um, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Eric. I, uh, I work at Mapbox, which is an open source platform for designing really fast, uh, interactive, uh, custom maps that are shareable on the web or, or mobile. So now, uh, development practitioners, designers, uh, developers are able to design their own maps, upload them to the cloud, and then actually integrate them with their application. This all starts with our open source software called TileMill, uh, which allows you to take your own data, whether it's like a spreadsheet, whether it's a shape file, whether it's a city's uh, open data, whether it's open street map data, you know, your own API, and suck this into the design studio. Uh, and then using the design studio, you actually get to control what shows up on the map dragging and stacking different data layers, actually setting certain adjustment parameters, and getting your map just right, and then being able to publish this directly up to the cloud and having this all be, uh, be interactive. From the cloud, you're able to leverage our open API and quickly integrate this into your, um, into your application. Uh, this is more than just cloud hosting. It, Mapbox manages all your maps for you. Uh, everything from analytics showing who's looking where on your maps and uh, statistics to uh, doing merging of data. So no matter how much data layers you're stacking on top of your maps, the maps are always streaming out really fast. Let me show you some examples of how subscribers are, uh, are working, both in terms of designing custom base layers and custom overlays. So NGOs like the bank are using Mapbox to, make, uh, to actually visualize climate change data. And more than just showing change in climate, and by being able to make their own custom maps, they would say, well, what does this mean? Well, let's look at the change in precipitation here. And then having all this half degree uh, uh, grid level data be interactive, and as you mouse over each point, actually able to show monthly projections going out to 2100. Uh, or hey, let me just look at the climate change data in relationship to where croplands are happening, and have that be interactive. Or hey, let me now run out estimates of what change in agricultural yields are going to be in 2050 overlay that with a percentage of agricultural production per GDP today and do a mashup. Basically, by being able to make really custom maps like this, you're able to leverage data, your own data, uh, to a much wider audience to tell really compelling stories. News outlets like NPR are also uh, leveraging Mapbox, again, for really data-heavy reasons. Here's a change in uh, population within the US. You want to see the growth in suburbia? Look at the green donuts here. The fact that you're able to zoom in this fast and actually have all these points be interactive for the web or mobile uh, is really rare. And this is, this is also fast on Internet Explorer 7. Uh, Mapbox has also had a lot of traction within the US federal government. Currently, nine different agencies are using Mapbox. Uh, Aid is using Mapbox to help show the response to the famine in the horn. Uh, more than just showing folks, uh, folks in need in the situation, they're showing other contextual level detail, like here's NDVI data from NASA, and then overlaying that with a change in precipitation over the last three years. This is more than just a common operating picture. You're able to quickly zoom in. Here we're looking at Mogadishu, an actual block level detail. Zoom in a little farther, you're able to see individual camps and the actual tents here. Again, all of this is built with open source software, specifically a software called Node.js. It's really, really fast. Um, and it's also totally cross-platform. So all this is a one-click install. Runs on uh, Mac, Linux, or, uh, or Windows. And we're also using the open source software Node.js on our server eight, to make seven, really fast map, six, map mashups. Five, four, so later this month, three, we're launching two, our own world base one. layer, all powered by uh, OpenStreetMap level data. So the timing's great, because Google's now Everybody just charging for their maps. And so now we're going to have a real open alternative to that. So, Cool. Hey, thank you. What is the advantage between you and GRQ?